A week before the tornado outbreak, AccuWeather warned of possible tornadoes and storms. And for an even closer look at what unfolded over the past few days, Bernie Reno checked in with AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist John Porter earlier today. Let's take a look at the storm reports, John, as we go forward here. And right in that area, that's where we did have the uh, tornadoes, including a very large tornado, John, that actually crossed Interstate 80 near the Lincoln area. Yes, there was a swarm of tornadoes across eastern Nebraska and also into portions of uh, Iowa, basically from Des Moines southwestward. There were significant impacts in the Des Moines metro area as well. So these were very serious tornadoes. They were intense and unfortunately they struck populated areas as well. John, as we went into Saturday, we had a new upper level system that we worried about. We issued a high risk for that that included central Oklahoma. And unfortunately, John, look at the damage that we saw in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Those are very significant damage there as well. Look at that uh, building shredded, cars lofted, and unfortunately we know fatalities across Oklahoma as well as a result of yet another storm system. And it was a different setup, another storm system that came out of the southwestern United States, tapping warm, moist air, prime for severe thunderstorm and tornado development across the plains. Sort of a classic setup, and it really ramped up once those winds, that low-level jet yeah. burning, those winds at about 5,000 feet in the atmosphere ramped up in the evening, and we had repeated rounds of supercell thunderstorms producing intense tornadoes right along the heavily populated 35 corridor in Oklahoma. It was a very serious setup and of course also dangerous tornadoes across southeastern Kansas as well. This we had also been the only source to identify accurately, most accurately, a high risk for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. That's what we do to give you as much advance notice as possible so you can make the best decisions for your, you and your family and stay safer. Of course, you can see the destruction there. And just to put all of the tornado reports on the map, we had more than 160 of them come in from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can see how extensive that is across Nebraska into Texas, even a report or two off towards the southeast. But again, the focus of that severe weather outbreak was towards the central U.S. And when we talk about some of these storms, too, just to uh, give you a mindset, some of them were longer. Long path tornadoes are usually 12 miles or more, but you can see some of these were 10 miles on the ground as they work their way on through. Oftentimes tornadoes can last yards to maybe a mile, but in this case, uh, they were on the ground for a while uh, from some of those storms Friday. This is Elba, Nebraska, which is kind of in central Nebraska, if you will. Uh, it's quite a ways uh, west of Omaha, but an EF3 tornado touching down there.